I'm afraid. Right, now, I have been getting a lot of... I've been getting some messages on YouTube, and I've been getting a lot of emails about Tutorial 1 on my videos. You know, Tutorial 1, the um, Hello World example. And they're saying it doesn't work and stuff like that. And I've had too many comments about it. So, I thought we'd do it again. So here we go. Here's the Hello World example. And I thought we would go through the Hello World example for CPS or Common, uh, CBM Pro, uh, Studio. And kick. So we do both ways so people know what to do. Before we go into the 3D maze... We'll get into this, we'll do it, and so people can follow along and hopefully get it right. Because I've had too many people, too many people saying it doesn't work. I followed the example directly and it, do, uh, uh, and it doesn't work. So if I... Uh, da, 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 see if I can find it. Here we go. You might have seen videos like yeah, stop. So, you know, followed step by step, and they said it never could pull it up with a C64 emulator. You know, and... But these are the ones on that have been commented on. But I've had a few emails saying it doesn't work. You don't know what you're talking about. So... <laughs> yeah, that works. Oh, my banner's still having troubles. I've still got to sort that out. I haven't looked at it yet. So, this is my forum. We have the Hello World example in the forum. It's under uh, Commodore 64, Assembly Stuff, co Issues and Code, CBM, Code Examples. Yes, we all love dogs. So, I've got, I've got CBM Prog Studio here. And we are going to create a new file called Hello world simple as oh it's still got the massive fonts <laughs> so we're going to create a starter we're going to create a starter so build generate syscall i think that's the one and we're going to say please start at what do we start at oh it's 09000 in the example okay we'll do that so we're going to start this program at 09000, all right? Tutorial 1, hello world. There we go. So that's our starter. So we've got the link to the next line, line 10, SYS, blah, 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 blah. So... We will do this just so we can read it. Because I've got big fonts on. Um, we'll make it capitals as well. Oh, this is because I put the comment in, isn't it? All right. Oops. <laughs> right. Maybe I should have made it eight bytes each line. Never mind. With it, we're getting there. So that's our stop. Start. So first things first, we need to make a label. For the print routine we're going to use, which is a basic print routine. So, we'll call it print. Do we need to have... No. Print line equals dollar and it's uh, 8B1E. That is a basic function. Oh, no, wrong. It's that in here, isn't it? So this is a basic 
function to print a string less than 255 bytes long terminating with a zero. So let's just do this. No, chr out is you print one character. Chr out is to print a character to the default output device. Now the default output device is the screen, yeah? This routine prints a line, yeah? Prints a string of up to 255 characters, but it must terminate with a zero. And so what's that's doing? That's printing a string to the default output device. And the default output device in this case is the screen. So that's what we're gonna do, yeah? So yeah, basic, basically the print line function has the um, chr out anyway um i mean if anybody i can't see the screen because i've got that but if anybody wants to know exactly how the c64 works this is the book to grab right because this book this book has all the rom code line by line commented in so if we look at 8B1E, -8 8B1E, 8B, AB1E, here we go, which is on line, which is on A23. Right, let me see if I can open the PDF for this. Let's see if I can open the PDF. Got it somewhere. And I think it's because it's one of the books I normally go to. That's mapping, infiltrate, anatomy, here we go. It's one of my go-to books. All right, so there's the book. Yeah, that's the book. I've used it many times on many videos, so we're looking for page A23. So if you ever want to know what it's what this code's doing. There you go. A, B, 1, E. So it outputs a, outputs a string to the default. And that's what it's doing. Yeah. So if you want to learn about the ROM, this is the book to get. If you want to find out what the ROM, what ro the ROM routines do, this is the one to get. So now we've got our print routine that we're going to actually do the print. Then we need to write the program. So, so dollar star equals dollar oh nine hundred. Hi Twitch Eagle. So we're gonna do start, and we are going to load. We need to for, to use a b one e. We need to set the um, the memory address of where the text is being held, right? So we're going to load A with the low value of hello world text. And then we load Y with the high value. So the high byte, hello world text. That's how the basic function takes knows where to print so we tell it right the a value is the low byte the y value is the high byte it's the pointer to in memory where this string is go and do it so we're going to say jsr print line and then we're going to say right finish go back to basic once you've done it go back to basic so we need what we need to do now, if I if I try and assemble this, it'll error because it doesn't know what that is. So we need to set up that. So hello world text. And basically in CPS you use the the um, assembler directory text and then you put quotes hello world how are you? 
And then the next thing you've got to do, put a byte zero. Always terminate with a byte zero. So you can either do byte zero or you can actually do break. Because break is zero in machine code. All right? So there's our tutorial one. So we'll save it and we'll press. <laughs> I get confused between kick and CPS. Right, it's F5 here. It should. It should. Have I got an error? Oh, yes. Oh, it doesn't like that, does it? Let's do a quick search and replace. Da, 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 da. Let's search and replace. Here we go. Replace. Byte into byte. Oh, no, 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 no. Is it because of the comma? Hey, Stacey. Right, F5. There we go. So it's assembled it. Because we've got our screen. All right, mate. Good call. There you go. So it's assembled it. So we should, when we break stop that, it should run it. There you go. Simple as. Tutorial one. How to print Hello World to the screen. Simples. So, what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to split, I'm going to split this off into a different, a separate video. Hi, John here. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. Hey, Microman. 14 months. Oh my God. 14 months. Welcome. Thanks for subscribing, mate. So, I'm going to... I'm going to chop this off, make it a separate video um, to put out there to to update version one, uh, to, to, tutorial one. So that's doing it in CPS. Yeah. So this is how you do it in CPS. Now we're going to do it in Kick because we use Kick as well. So we're going to do Kick version. So we're going to minimize this down. We're going to fire a new version of a new instance of VS Code. And we are going to open the folder that I have got the CPS in. So, da, 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 and it was Hello World Tutorial. That's the fella. So we're going to use it in there, yeah? So we've got the Hello World from the CPS, and we're going to create a different one for Kick. So we're going to create a new one called Hello world kick and we are going to use the kick version and as i've said before we i have it on my forum under code examples here we go this is the kick version so i have the two versions in my forum so if, you, if you're not a member of the forum Please sign up. It's uh, oldschoolforum.oldschoolcoder.co.uk. You can get hold of these examples that are in there, as well as my GitHub. So, here we go. Starting with kick. Like with CPS, I call it CPS because I, I, I'm helping develop it, even though it's got a few bugs in it at the moment. Um, the startup generator that the, the CPS uses there is a macro in kick so this is the macro to start why is that kick 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 assembler thank you macro to start proceedings if I can't spell Right, and the way it's done, it's basic upstart 
2 and then you give it the label that you want to start it at. So we're going to call it start. Yeah. That's how you spell it, isn't it? That's how you spell it, isn't it? It goes back to his main maze program. Yeah. I was going to say. Oh, better shut that down. So, start. Why is it saying that, what's it saying that basic up start is not defined? Hmm. Strange. Hang on a sec, let's just see if it's activated. Yeah. Basic up start too. Oh, little less. Ah, uh, my mistake. Little less. There we go. So that's telling. That's cr that. Cr <laughs> Add a two. Oh yeah, oh, I know, there's two of them in there's basic up start and basic up start two. It's the small less that threw me. Right, so that creates the start. So we're gonna do the lay, we're gonna now define our basic ROM routine. So print line dollar a b one e. So this time we have to put dot label in front of it and we've got the start there. So this is where we're gonna start the code. Same thing again, LDA, hash, lower, hello, world, text, LDY, hash greater than, hello, world, text, JSR, print, line, RTS. And then, let's get rid of that. Same thing as before, hello world text, put a colon, that's our label definer. And the difference between CPS and kick is we have to do dot text, yeah? And then hello world. Same thing, put, put a break at the end. So let's say hello world. I'm the kick version. That's it. Sorted. So simple as that. F6. Do we have an error? No, we don't. Hey, presto. So they're the two Hello World examples. Now... This one, the CPS one is the one that causes most trouble. And normally it's people have put in, so if I rem that out and do it again, people have done this. Which is fine. But the problem is when you come to build it and run it, You get that because the capital is shift character and on the c64 shift character is in graphics mode so some people have made that mistake and all it is is you put the text in the text in little letters and then run it there you go List. oh look there's the two t there's the rem statement <laughs> Right, but in kick, in kick, you have to put capitals. You put the text in capitals. If you put the text in lower case, then it tries to find the right character setting. So you know, H is A B um, Z, A B C D E F G H. 
He's character eight, and I think character eight in Petsky is white, I think. Can you use this type of string for a lot of the basic examples when you convert? Yes, if it doesn't go... Right, let's, let's quantify this. If it's just text, you want to print out just text, not numbers, just text, then this is the way to do it. Print line is the way to do it, as long as you don't blow the 255 characters, yeah? But if you want to print text with a number that's derived via variable and then more text, then it's slightly more complicated because you have to split it up, yeah? You have to print the text, then print the number, then print the text again, then print the number and whatever. So yeah, yes, this the print line you can use when you do your basic conversion. But if, yeah, but it, for the, the mixing, then you have to, you know, break it down. Yeah, because basic does a lot of things for you. That's the whole point of basic. It does a lot of things for you. But this is tutorial one. I've had a lot of, and a lot of emails just recently saying it doesn't work. Now, I've loaded my GitHub, and it's worked. So, I've walked through with them, and then they've got it working. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to say why they weren't working. But one of them is what I've just explained here because they put capitals in it come out as text so it did work it just printed the wrong character set so I just wanted to do that um, because of the amount of questions I've had and also you know tutorial one is the what my is currently the most watched video of my channel so far I mean, even now it's number two or three in my chart for the last 28 days. So it looks like there's been a resurgence. Uh, it looks Hi, like we could Tom get here. another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. Doxter, welcome. Six months, mate. Thank you very much for subscribing. Hello. So that is tutorial one. redone and updated so i will like i say i'm going to split this this section off i'll make it a separate video because it's now let's see uh 40 odd minutes so it's half an it's good half hour so that will be good for the and that will replace tutorial one of my uh video series um i've had a lot of um, YouTube comments on tutorial one as well as email saying it doesn't work so I've decided to take spend the first part of the stream just going through the kick version and the CPS version of our my hello world example tutorial one which like I say comes from the forum so it's all in the C64 we have two sections so we've got the assembly stuff where you can go into assembly code and issues, then it's split into kick assembler and CPS. And you've got code examples and, is and issues. So there's the stuff. If you were not a member of my forum, please go and sign up. Because, you know, when people say I'm a bit stuck, yeah, then a lot of people tend to reply and help out there's also discord but at least in the forum it stays there for a long time for people to watch all right right so that's the end of tutorial one dun, dun, dun. i'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel without you guys i wouldn't be able to do what i'm doing right now thank you very much